I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Wake up, we're... I'm Amalia Crolingitis. And I'm McKenna Potok. Here are your announcements for Friday, October 11th, brought to you by We're Student Media. <laughs> Happy National Video Games Day. Today's weather calls for sunny skies with a high of 68 and a low of 36. For lunch, we are having pepperoni and cheese pizza, french fries, homemade potato salad, green beans, and milk. Happy birthday to everyone celebrating this weekend. Today, Cody Laird and Levi Anderson. Tomorrow, Andrew Sakura and Austin Akabak. And Sunday, Evan Kazmarek, Justin Kazmarek, and Aiden Nolan. In other news, there will be no FCA meeting this week. There will be meeting next Friday during each lunch. Teachers, one more reminder, the class of 2027 and 2028 need you to help sponsor. If interested, apply online to the link sent to your email. Last reminder to students who pre-ordered 2024 yearbooks, you must pick them up from Ms. Bricker in room G404 immediately. For those who did not buy one, there are limited extra copies available for $65 cash or check from Ms. Bricker in room G404. Hurry to get yours before they sell out. Final reminder to PEP Club members, today is the last day to turn in your one-time $15 fee to Mr. Angle in room C217. If you do not turn in your money, you will not be able to participate in the club. There will be breakfast on Tuesday, October 15th at 7.30 a.m. for students who received distinguished scores on the SAT and the 8th grade WVGSA. A list of students was emailed to teachers. FBLA will meet on Tuesday, October 5th, after school in Ms. Dodson's room to discuss the Fall Leadership Conference. The Red Rider participants will meet after school on Thursday, October 17th in Ms. Dodson's room. Help save Christmas. Are you merry and bright? Weir High's Drama Club needs the most festive Weir students to join the cast of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer Jr. the musical as elves, reindeer, and misfit toys. Those up to the challenge must attend brief auditions next Wednesday, October 16th from 3 to 5 p.m. in the theater. Be prepared to read from a script or learn a short movement combination. If auditioning for a single role, students should come with a music-only version of a song on a cell phone or device. A Bluetooth speaker will be on hand. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. GAA will sell pink breast cancer ribbons and walk-a-thon tickets during all lunches on Tuesday, October 15th and Wednesday, October 16th. The ribbons will be displayed on the bulletin board in the cafeteria and a walk-a-thon will take place on Thursday, October 17th at 8 a.m. on the track. A list of students that purchased the ticket will be sent to teachers on Wednesday, October 16th. More information will be provided soon. Juniors, one more reminder to pick up your permission slip for the college fair at Brook High School on Thursday, October 24th from the counselor's office. Only the first 40 students who return permission slips and are in good school standing will go. Students, don't forget to mark your calendars for two events coming up at the end of October. All are invited to attend the JDR Open House on Tuesday, October 22nd from 5.30 to 7 p.m. On Wednesday, October 30th, Weir High students and families are invited to attend Open House from 5 to 7 p.m. Next, it's finally Homecoming Weekend. We have your last two Weir's Homecoming Queen and King candidates couples to introduce today, including Malia Palavis with Wyatt Hostetler and Melina Upright with Alex Gallo. My name is Malia Palavis. I'm Wyatt Hostetler. My name is Melina Upright. I'm Alex Gaia. Uh, I'm most excited about the pep rally and the parade. I'm most excited about the pep rally. 
I'm most excited for the pep rally and then the parade. Probably the same, the pep rally and the parade. I think Alex Guy is going to win king and <laughs> I think El Mele is going to win queen. Uh, I think either Alex or JD is going to win king and Malia is going to win queen. I think that Lucas McAllister will win king and then Gianna James Palladino will win queen. <laughs> I think Wyatt will win King, and I think Melina will win Queen. Good luck to all King and Queen candidates. Today's homecoming assembly will take place during second block from 9.15 to 10.30 in the gym. Please wait for all calls to release students. For the parade this afternoon, floats should line up downtown near the old football field parking lot at 4.15 p.m. on Friday. The parade will begin at 5.15. The homecoming football game kicks off at 7 p.m. this evening with the Queen ceremony taking place during halftime. Tom tomorrow, doors open at 6 p.m. for Nubro photos followed by the dance from 7 to 10 p.m. Don't forget to grab a Nubro photo form from the cafeteria if you plan to have your pictures taken at the dance. See Ms. Dotson for all your homecoming questions. Moving on, here's your sports info. Good luck to all the sports team competing this weekend. This evening, the football team takes on East Fairmont for the homecoming game, supported by the cheerleaders and band. Tomorrow, the cross country team competes in the Wheeling Park Fall Classic. Now for your fun fact of the day. Competitive art used to be an Olympic sport. Finally, we have today's Wake Up We Are content with Hunter Antal and Ben Howard take a look at this week's sports with this week's Rider Roundup. Good, Good morning, morning, We Are High School. I'm Ben Howard. And I'm Hunter Antal. Here's your Rider Roundup. Last Thursday, boys soccer competed against St. Clairsville and girls soccer competed against Edison, winning 10-0. On Friday, the football team traveled to Kaiser. On Saturday, cross country competed at the OVAC Championship. Olivia Shetler finished ninth and Naomi Young finished third, earning all OVAC. Here's an interview with Olivia, Naomi, and Coach Young. Who am I here with? Olivia Shetler. How do you think you prepared for the week leading up to the race? Um, I slept a lot more and I ran hard at practice. What were your thoughts warming up? Um, just that I was going to run my hardest and not worry about all the people around me. How do you feel you did after the race? Um, I didn't run like my best time, but I think I did pretty good. All right, thank you. Who am I here with? Naomi Young. What is your part on the team? I'm team captain. How did you prepare for the week leading up? Um, just, you know, got a couple good workouts in, make sure I was eating good, make sure I was sleeping good, stretching out, staying loose. What were your thoughts warming up? Warming up? Warming up. Um, just trying to, like, stay positive. Um, remember that, like, I've put all the work in, and it's just time for it to show. How did you feel after the race? I felt proud of myself. I ran as hard as I could. I placed good. I had a good race, so. All right, thank you very much. Yeah. Who am I here with? Coach Samory Young. How do you feel your team did at OVAX? I think we did great. Uh, we had two girls bring home some hardware. Um, we had kids that were sick that still persevered and showed up and ran. So I have no complaints. How do you feel your team has grown over the season? Um, we've grown in numbers, which is awesome. Um, I feel like maturity, uh, learning how to be a smart athlete, learning to take care of yourself, um, taking care of your injuries, getting enough rest. Uh, proper nutrition and just sticking out a hard workout. Uh, it's always a good thing. All right, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> also on Saturday, boys soccer played against Shenandoah. On Tuesday, boys soccer played against Trinity Christian and girls soccer played against Lindsley, defeating them six to nothing. On Wednesday, volleyball competed in a try match against Magnolia and Barnesville and winning both of their matches 2-0. Today, the football team returns home to compete in the homecoming game against East Fairmont. 
Here are interviews with Coach Hill and Senior Captain John Davis. How does it feel to be back at home? feels great being back at home. The last two games we've been on the road, you know, eight hours a day for, you know, two Maryland teams that uh, the games didn't go our way. Um, so being back at home, being in front of the home fans, um, being able to do our normal, our normal routine will, you know, be beneficial to us. How are you preparing for this big game? Well, I mean, doing the same thing um, we usually do. We're watching film, um, drawing up formations, drawing up plays, making sure that we get that information to our players, um, and then making sure that we are preparing mentally and physically for this game, uh, especially mentally with all the distractions with homecoming week. Thank you. Who am I here with? John Davis. What is your role on the team? Uh, I'm the right guard. How does it feel to be back at home? Uh, it's very nice. Uh, we've had a long week, long couple weeks of being more than two hours away, and it's just nice being able to be home for the rest of the season. Are you nervous about the game since it's a homecoming game? No. How are you keeping your teammates in check with such a big game? Uh, I'm just making sure they're really focused because there's all these distractions from homecoming week and just making sure they're all locked in and, and, and so we can get ready for the game. All right, thank you. That's all for this week. Stay tuned next week for sports coverage from Lily and Eva. Thanks guys. Good luck to all the sports team as they approach the last few weeks of the regular season and look ahead to postseason. That's a wrap for this week. Have, Have a fun and safe homecoming, homecoming weekend, weird. weird.